Okay, hi guys. Uh, in this video tutorial, we will do some interesting stuff that the uh, user uh, suggests me to help him with. Uh, and basically, I figured that it will be a good tutorial for anyone else who needs uh, some kind of alert system for enemies. He basically asked five years ago, uh, could you uh, make tutorial alert pictures about uh, enemy when enter the range? Okay, now. I spent some time and do my some stuff in my game and basically I managed to put tutorial for him today so he can have uh, his scripts and possibility in game and I hope that anyone who needs some kind of simple alert system in the game will find this useful. Now uh, let me show you what will we make and then I will show you how we will make it. Now I am working on some mobile game for mobile phones for Android. Basically, I will start the new tutorials from ground up for Android, but uh, this is uh, what will I show you how to do today based on the user request. I have my player here, okay. As you can see, here is my player. And uh, just let me drag this on my monitor. And as you can see, we have here some kind of enemy. Just a second to zoom it. Okay, here is the enemy, okay. And this box is a trigger, so when my player go near to the enemy, it will trigger the alarm uh, on top of his, his head. Now, uh, let me show you. Okay, and now I'm in the range of the enemy and I get alert. But if I move away, the alert is gone. Okay, and that's it's how my user will know that I'm uh, in close range of the new enemy. And uh, Okay, I'm now dead, sorry my bad, but let's try it again. And as you can see, I came in the range of the enemy. Run, 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 run. And, come on, okay, I will kill this one. And then we will go and make a tutorial. Fuck, 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 just a second. Okay, I know that I supposed not to play my game on tutorial, but... Um, I want to kill this motherfucker, so we can go with the other. Okay, for, uh, forget it. It's not worth wasting your time. Now, as you can see, this is the simple alert uh, effect for your Unity game. Now, uh, let's start with uh, first thing first. You will need to go on uh, Google and find yourself some kind of alert icon or make your own in uh, Photoshop, okay? For example, I use, uh, as you can see, Ghost Recon icon, this one, okay? I, down I download this one for this demo purpose, and then I use my Photoshop and resize the image to some small size of two centimeters, okay? You can change color or whatever you like. It doesn't even matter. Basically, you can make text, image, uh, whatever you like. Paint it in uh, Photoshop, make make whatever you want. When you are done with the Photoshop, uh, you will import your image in your separate folder, however you rename it. You can rename it test from YouTube or whatever you like. Okay, and just drag and drop the image alert uh, on your Unity. Okay. I will show you the quick example how to set up material for this. Now, first we will set up material, then we will apply scripts and it's all over, okay? Um, my bad for closing the Photoshop, but this is first time, the first time I'm trying to make this tutorial, so you need to have some understanding for my mistakes, but just a second, so Photoshop load. Okay, it's coming, come, 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 and we will do the same thing again. Okay, now I will go to the internet. Okay, I will download something like uh, okay. For example, let me say it's not uh, slow internet, but I have many applications open at the same time. We will use uh, this one. Okay, show me the image in full size. Okay, great, it's PNG. Come on, come on, and save image. I will save my image in uh, my level 5 materials. You save 
your image with whenever with wherever you like okay now basically we'll go into Photoshop open the image this is some simple stuff I know that experienced users do not need to watch this but for the new users this is the simple examples okay just a second is it thumbnails yes it's on the thumbnails okay here is the image we want to use open go to the image image size put something like two centimeters okay export as png for web and devices test 2 and that's all you need to do in photoshop or if you are good in photoshop you do whatever you like and just when you find your new image here just drag and drop it in the unity okay and now we have it here now from this start you will need to, to create a new material go to the, your right mouse button go to the create and then create a material okay rename it uh, however you like so you know that this is a large material I will, I will rename this uh, blink to material not okay for example and just drag and drop your image here uh, the thing you must do now is to find a shader it must be transparent with diffusal okay you can play uh, with different one but for now setup is uh, transparent go to the diffusal okay click on the material go to the diffusal go to the transparent bitmap uh, diffusal okay. yes and now i will destroy this plane and i will show you everything that we will set up yes okay now go to the game object go to the create other than create plane now on this rotation on y scale you put 180 on x scale you put 90 and now drag and drop your blinking material on it okay and i will now remove the mesh collider from my plane and i will position it, position material uh, on top of my enemy head just a second okay something like this this is shit resolution but uh, i will not do it again this is the demo demo purpose you will make your own resolution as you fit okay now here it is we have the plane on top of our enemy head now let me make it bigger okay and that's good now you will go on my blog post okay and you will find in the zip folder uh, two scripts first is the color and the second enable and disable now drag and drop the color script on your plane and then drag and drop uh, enable and disable on your plane now you will uh, put the plane on your player and it will be the parent of the your player now as you can see on the plane we do not have any type of the collider we will now go to add component psychic and, and add box collider or sphere collider I would, I would prefer for this demo box collider now uh, on box collider on this size where is you see 10 or whatever you put uh, something like 50 and I will put here 50 and this will be 50 okay as you can see we now have the collider and when we uh, touch the enemy the script will enable blinking material okay and if I set up everything right I will make this 100 for, it, for now okay it's good now if I do everything right and you follow me this should work now let me see okay I, I fucked up one thing on box collider you put is a trigger okay my bad and now click the play as you can see there is no material on, on top of your head but if we go in close range of the enemy come on come on what the fuck okay here is the image run 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 you motherfucker and here is the enemy and here is the image blinking enemy blinking image oh run run is here some kind of enemy yes run run home motherfucker okay it's simple as that i hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial if you want to make a bigger uh, box or bigger range just uh, put here something like this or whatever number you fit for your game 
and I hope that uh, user by the name Alejandro find this tutorial useful and everyone in our community now. This is a tutorial for this week guys and I hope that you find it useful. If anyone in this Unity community have any better solution for the user Alejandro, please post it here on the video comments and so everyone in our community can benefit from your knowledge and see you guys in next tutorial. I'm sorry for this taking too long but uh, it's, it, it's, it is what it is for today. So see you guys in next tutorial and